We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your season comes to an end with a victory over the Washington Patriots. Just walk us through that game and give us your thoughts on it. It was a game that, you know, we des- well, we desperately needed the game to make sure we could try to keep home field, a home field first round game for the playoffs. And maybe, you know, if things would go right for us, maybe we could possibly slide up and get two. Um, you know, I, I kind of thought there were things that we would be able to get offensively um, as long as we could handle their blitz package um, and as long as we could definitely defensively be able to stop um, Isaiah DeLauder from running the ball. I thought we'd be able to kind of maybe pull away at some point in time in the game and get a victory. Um, so, I mean, that's what I thought was going, what could happen possibly, and that's pretty much what happened on Friday night. Coach, you guys end the season with back-to-back shutouts um, and – now head into the postseason with some momentum. How do you feel about how the team's playing right now heading into the playoffs? I think we're playing pretty well. I think we've, we've gotten better as the years going gone on. Um, we've cleaned up some stuff, still need to clean up penalties. Um, but other than that, I think we've cleaned up some other things, uh, technical stuff offensively and defensively that have allowed us, uh, one, put points on the board, number two, be able to stop people uh, and keep them from putting points on the board. Uh, so going to the playoffs is – Never never a bad thing that you won your last two games and they're both shutouts and you play well offensively and defensively. So it's always a plus going into the playoffs. You kind of mentioned it on the offensive end here during this win streak, really putting up points. I guess what has really jumped out to you on that offensive side for your team that maybe wasn't there at the start of the year? Uh, you know, I think we, we're still, we were still clicking, I think, a little bit, you know, trying to still figure out uh, what teams we're going to do against Keyshawn, how we can move around Keyshawn, give him the ball, uh, seeing other kids try to step up in other roles where we lost other guys last year, and then, you know, uh, Dylan trusting them and being able to throw them the ball. Um, I think those are the combination of things uh, which helped us, you know, as the season went on, get better at seeing those things as, as coaches and putting the kids in the right positions uh, so they could be successful and be able to uh, – score points for us and coach this first round matchup a wheeling park team that comes in seven and two a very solid team uh as an 11 seed definitely won't be a tough or won't be an easy game for you guys uh looks like a pretty tough opponent what have you seen from them so far um you know um like you said they're a good team good program uh, they've been in the playoffs the last couple of years um they have some speed um you know they are a decent, a good, a good old line, a good running back. Um, you know their defense. Again, we're going to see another team that's going to throw a whole bunch of blitz packages at us. Uh, we just got to make sure that we can we can see it and be able to pick it up when it's coming. Um, they're going to do a lot of gaming with us. You know, jump in a blitz, drop out of it, um, jump in it from one side, back out of from that side, come from blitz from the other side from depth. Uh, just a lot of different things that we got to make sure we're prepared for. Um, in the game plan. Uh, that's going to be the key thing is figuring out where their blitz is coming from and stopping the running game, stopping the running game and um, keeping the quarterback under control. He's a uh, pretty good quarterback, uh, not per se a uh, dual threat guy, but will run if he needs to. Um, so just making sure we can keep him um, keep him in the pocket and try to, as they would say, I guess for a pocket pass or get him off his spot a little bit so he does not sit back here easy throws. Coach Hunter, it's the third straight season your team makes the playoffs. Just talk a little bit about that and how much your program has really grown in the recent years. Uh, you know, yeah, the third year going to playoffs is is great. You know, we've um, set a goal, team the team and the kids set a goal for this year. One was to get the playoffs, two was to be home, uh, three was to try to get to the semifinals. Um, we don't have the easiest path to get there, but, you know, we're still going to fight to try to see if we can get there. Um, you know, so it feels good for the program, especially where we were about three or four years ago, um, for the resurgence of the program to get back uh, to the playoffs and be um, a program right now that's being talked about throughout throughout the state of West Virginia. So it feels real good. You know, these kids have worked hard and done a great job at doing this. How do you think you get to the point where you guys can compete for the, the state championship, get to the semifinals like you – Definitely want to this year, but like you said, it's going to be a tough road. Uh, well, I mean, we we definitely didn't get the easiest draw, that's for sure. I mean, you're playing a 
willing park team that's not your uh, quintessential 11 seed, kind of like we were last year, not your quintessential 11 seed. Um, then we next if we if we if we win on Friday, then um, we get to see Martinsburg again. So you know, and if that happens, and if you know we get that one, then we got to go see possibly Huntington. So. You know, it's not going to be an easy road. Uh, I think the kids are up for the fight, the coaches are up for the fight. I think we just got to clean up mistakes, continue to clean up mistakes. Um, you know, watching the game, we had a couple of touchdowns called back because of penalties. Like, I, I feel like I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when I said we got to clean up the penalties. But you know, um, this is the thing that we got, we have got to do now that we're in the playoffs. If you want to, it's, you know, it's survive, survive and move on. So if you want, if we want to survive and move on, we there's certain things we got to clean up, and that's one of them. Uh, we can't put ourselves behind the sticks. We got to take advantage of every opportunity that's given us in the course of a game, and and don't squander it. And those are the things that we want to do if we want to win Friday night against uh, Willing Park. I mean, they're a good football team, and uh, we can't make too many mistakes against them. We're going to take advantage of it. Is there anything else that you feel like your team needs to execute, either offensively or defensively, to get the win against Willing Park? Uh, I mean, just the things I've said. You know, clean up, clean up the mistakes. Uh, no penalties, um, and you know we just got to get the ball in the hands of our playmakers and let them and let them work. Um, defensively, we just got to stop their guys. Um, we know who their playmakers are, who they want to get the ball to. We just got to stop them, contain them, and um, if we get them in third down situations, we get them off the field. All righty, Coach Hunter. Before we let you go, get to our fun question of the week, and it was just tell us a little bit about your playing career uh, with football, oh maybe any other sports. Favorite memories? Uh, what position you played as well? So, oh well, um, well, I played football at Jefferson High School, ran track at Jefferson High School, um, then went on and played um, at Shepherd. Uh, I guess my favorite memory. Oh my gosh, it's been so long ago. I I say one of my one of my favorite memories was actually uh, my last my last college game um, at Shepherd was blocking blocking a punt. The punt being in the air, catching the punt in the air, and running in for a touchdown. Also, uh, Coach, what position did you play? Um, I played at, at Jefferson. I played some running back slash quarterback. When I got to Shepard, um, I played uh, defensive back. And also you uh, played for Coach Cater then at Shepard, and he's going to yes, the College Football Hall of Fame. How cool is that? Uh, that's awesome. You know, he's a great. He was a great guy. You know, I played for. I played under Coach Cater and actually Coach Castile. Um, those two guys were great guys. You know, those are the two guys that pretty much um, got me into coaching. So you know, I owe a lot to them guys. Just seeing what they've done and, and how they did things. All righty, Coach Hunter. We appreciate the time as always, and good luck Friday. All right, thank you. I appreciate it.